Hey guys, it's Ben, and welcome back to my Let's Play, uh, well, not Let's Play, to my Rebuilding the Sims 4 series. Last time, we were at the Ulta household, and today, we're going to be toying the Goth Senior household. So the Goths founded the town of Willow Creek and hold themselves proud of their heritage. Gunther's a successful businessman, while Cornelia enjoys being the leader of the Sim City Bridge Society. So, this is the Gothic Revival Victorian, inspired by 77 Maple Street from The Sims 1. This Gothic Revival Victorian mansion is surrounded by the deep history of death and sorrow. For many years, this mansion has been the ancestral home for the Goth family. Who are the 12 people buried in their graveyard, and what will become of the mansion once the Goths are gone? Only time will tell. So, oh, this one was really fun to build. Like, I took a lot of inspiration from, like, the Clue Mansion and... Just you know, the Sims one in general, you know, and there's a lot of history to go over in this. Like the Goth Seniors were like the first family that I really got into building the full family tree for, you know. And that's when I like really wanted. That's when I decided that I really wanted to have the full family trees and put as much lore into the save file as possible, you know. Because I just really want to have as many different characters in here as possible so that people can enjoy the lore for what it is. Because it really sucks that, like, The Sims team doesn't really care about, like, lore in this game. So I'm just like, you know, that's sad, but... Yeah. So here's the goth house, very inspired by The Sims 1 and New Orleans and all that, and it fits perfectly here. Right, it's one of my favorites in like all The Sims games, like now. So, so here it is in all its glory. Alright, let's like give some time for the screenshot and all that. I really want to like have a good spot here to take a photo of. This should be fine. But yeah, like when you enter this place, it's very quaint, very nice. I love like this path here with the trees. It's very, it feels very much like a university in a way, like an old style school. We have this nice little tea area for Cornelia to have our tea parties. We have like, like some outdoor painting areas here. And here we have the goth graveyard with so many sims from the original legacy of families and stuff and it's iconic like you can't have a graveyard uh, you can't have a goth house without having a graveyard you know and this family is just so iconic it serves justice so we walk into this grand foyer and this entrance here really reminds me of the uh, foyer in and Clue, where they have that final accusation moment, and it's really cool. So here we have all these old photos of of young Mortimer and his parents, Gunther and Cornelia, and then her sister Agnes and Eric Darling. They're in here too, and it's really nice. So here's their super fancy, super nice sort of dining room. You know, like this isn't really as fancy in the game like I didn't really want to exactly match the colors but like, I really wanted to sort of push this sort of look you know especially since like we need to make this goth more goth you know here we have this nice area here I want to like I really hope they put like birds in this game because like you know we could have had that and I really like the idea of having this birds here because that's this is supposed to be the aviary you know like this is just sort of normal like uh, conservatory right now though so yeah, over here we have this nice little sitting area, sort of library section, you know, really good for just, just having like everything you need, you know, there's, I think there's normally like a bar table here in the original Sims 1, but I didn't have it there. I have a bar right here though, so that makes up for it. We have a nice chest table here, and if we go in here we have this really nice this sort of mini ballroom in a way. It's a, very like clue inspired but also kind of inspired by like the expansion a little bit just just a little bit but you know so if we go over here 
Oh, we have the bathroom area, which is really nice. And I, I really wanted to add some extra lore too to sort of connect. I even have like the old Sims 3 goths here from like a, a Midnight Hollow. Well, not, I don't think it's is it Midnight Hollow. It's or it's Moonlight Falls. So here we have this really nice sort of uh, living room area. This is sort of the a private area where they like stay and like watch TV and stuff. So yeah, here's like all their photos, the nice couple's photo of Agnes and Eric, and even Frida's in here too, and it's just like, there's so much lore. And this is actually like, brings me into this like fun sort of, of side, side where like, like someone wrote an article about my safe file, and it was really nice, and it's just like, yeah, was, you know, it makes me happy to just know that like, people love my safe file and just want to play it, and just like, it makes me feel validated, and just, you know, with all this horrible negativity in the Sims community and just like the garbage that has been like everything surrounding like this sort of game and it's just like I really want to bring like positivity to this sort of, of series and try to like save the lore as we know it you know by bringing everything that I love and celebration of the series you know but, like we have the old god the new gods like the classic Sims 1 gods here too so that's pretty fun this sort of nice kitchen area, and then we have of the new lore here that I really wanted to add because I've been playing my things lately, and I've just really been obsessing over for having Mrs. Crumplebottom here and Elmira Clamp because like I really love the idea of Cornelia having a secret affair. Oh, oh, oh like this isn't a secret affair. This is like her old love of Odin Clamp. And then her daughter, Elmira Clamp, and then it goes into her nephew, you know, and his mom, Mrs. Crumplebottom, or as she labels herself, you know. I really love that sort of idea that, like, like, like Cornelia went off, had two daughters before she had Mortimer, and their auntie, Agnes, is the one who, like, sort of helped lead them in their lifestyle, you know, because she really wanted to be, like, a mom, you know, and having her be this sort of auntie, like, like after she grew all bitter and old, really, like, like sort of adds to the more. I really love that, you know, because in the original Sims 2, we had, like, the, the sort of, of Mrs. Crumblebottom here, who she's based off of, and, like, you know, she's supposed to be, like, a great niece of, like, like Agnes, but it doesn't make sense, because, like, Cassandra is also the great niece, so it's very weird to sort of think of like I don't really see them as the same age you know especially since like Agnes is older so I really not Agnes since uh Mrs. Crumblebottom is older I still named her Agnes so Agnes Clamp so yeah so I already showed you the backyard garden area for Cornelia because she loves gardening and she used to take care of hell and monkeys according to Elmer's bio so that's really fun and like she's a lover of nature and here we have Bella's parents the bachelors there's I think this is like her um grandparents actually buried in the yard and then here we have Alexander Goth and Cecilia Goth. Why are they here? You just have to find out for yourself. Uh, time travel, cloning, you never know. So here we have of the Crumble Bottoms, Prudence and, si Prudence and Simon. And then you have Lolita Goth. One thing I really love about Lolita is that like like she's so like mysterious, you know? And and right here is the sort of theory that like, you know, well, she left <laughs> Gunther over here and then died. So that's really sad. Gunther was so cute and like, like sincere. And he's like cute too in the past, but he's just attractive in the present, just in a different way, you know? So here we have the, the uncle of Gunther and, and his wife. And, and then his sister Frida. And then we have his parents, Gretel Goth, and dad. And, and then Eric. It's, it's, now it's getting sad because it's just like, well, Eric like, died tragically. And then their family photo here. Also, if you don't have this family portrait model, I highly recommend you get it because it should have been in the original game because, you know, they just had to release it as a commercial thing. But, you know, whatever, it's fine. You know, it just makes me upset when it's just like, like I see people playing The Sims, and it's just like, you know, they don't know the lore, they don't know, like, how deep the, like, iceberg goes, you know? Here we have Alexander's room, and since I don't have Hakiba and Markibus in this save yet, 
that this Lumen story of reserve for Alex until the cats take over. So oh, cats will rule the world someday and they will take over the goth family yeah, at the rightful place. So here I have some more nice photos and now I will enter their actual room here. So oh, it's quite a, like like unassuming and nice. Okay, so here we have their family photo will be updated once we get our cat style but very fancy, very blue, not really like super super or crazy or anything, but here we have this sort of nice little dressing area. It's like I always love having a creative scenario because it's just like it's so perfect, you know. They have them with their parents and all that, and it's just, it makes me happy, you know, uh, just to have all this more in here too. It's like the nice little bathroom, it's, it's huge, it's, it's huge. It even has like a little like a closet bathroom here too, and it's pretty nice. So the last thing I want to do is sort of go over the traits I gave them. So for uh, Gunther, we sort of gave him a bunch of traits, like like we have him, because he already finished like like his his wants and that sort of thing. Then we had him be companion, he can in some way. We had him be shrewd because he's got this thing up in you. Okay, but he's also brave, frugal, and entrepreneurial. So that's pretty cool too. So here we have Carnilla too. She's also companion, with super green thumb speed planner and I really like that because I really just like having like, like all this lore here you know so I do want to see if there's like something I could do to make Cornelia a bit more interesting like maybe give her her job I mean that's really up to you I made him an angel investor so he's like top of the business career and that's really cool too but so I really want to make Cornelia uh, like a member like the leader of the Sim City Society Bridge Club because like once I have get together, but that won't be for a long time. So you know, here we have him with his um um like this technically like, like daughter in law Agnes. So that's pretty cool. Apparently he's enemies with Ilyan Langrak, which is like a whole other basket of whatever we're gonna go down. The one thing I'm worried about is sort of having like the family tree get messed up because I mean or messed up the family tree. We have this huge family tree and it's really fun. So it's just like, just look at this. Like Cornelia has like this hidden lore and I love it. Uh, it makes it makes me happy to just have that hidden lore there for everyone to see. So it's really cool. So I think the last thing we're gonna look at is her relationships. She's really like she has like friendships with a lot of like you know high society members and stuff, and it's really nice. Like. Like, like she can form like a pretty good community. I see her being friends with Vivian a lot, and like, like one thing I really loved about the Spencer Kim Lewis family is that they really helped to define the social classes, you know. Oh, and you know, they're having them be part of the community is really cool. Like in The Sims Three and Two, you can never have that connected community. You know, you can always like it's fun in terms of gameplay, but like setting up that community is so much easier with club because it's just like you can have so much lore, you know, and it's so cool. To just explore and create that sort of thing. Here we have Ola and her ex, and it's just like, like, uh, it makes me happy to sort of just see all this happen, you know. So here, here we have our graveyard: Silly Goth, and Enrique Bachelor, and Enriqueta Milton, and even like Simon and Prudence. There's Alexander, Lolita, and then Olivia. Samuel, that's the uncle who died. I killed them by uh, the cow plants. I even have like their own house up for them, so I look pretty cool. You have grass. <laughs> I did this one because this is based off of the Sims 2 DSP, or she married for money but stayed for pre free premium cable. I miss, I really miss like playing old Sims games. Like, I love the Sims 2 DSP, it's really good. So, yeah, like, I really love just creating this house because it was so fun to sort of just, just have this place especially considering like this like inspiration from new orleans and stuff and it's really gorgeous too so yeah so that's pretty much it for the goth senior house and next time we're going to be exploring the crumble bottom house and that's going to be a really fun time i really love agnes crumble bottom and i'm so excited to sort of show you everything that comes with the house so thanks for watching and see you next time